Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, Mad Mick here. Um, right, issue with the TC Max. Well, not an issue with the back at all, it's just uh, I was uh, going down uh, dual carriageway at 40 miles an hour, truck overtook me the other day, and something fell, like a brick fell off his back of his, uh, his truck, and I had a bang on the back of the bike, and basically it bashed my back wheel. Now, as you can see, I've I've mended it as best I can. I mean, a piece of wood. I mean, it was. This is the area here, and a piece of wood and a metal hammer, a big metal hammer, because it was it was quite out this area. So I bashed it all back down using this area to bash it back down. As you can see there, it's still not brilliant. Um, I managed to use a Dremel to get rid of all the dings afterwards, and. Uh, and then I paint it. So it doesn't look bad, but it's not as I want it. So it's going to be a spare wheel. So um, I've ordered a wheel uh, that was under forty pound, green mopeds in Sutton. Uh, uh, should be arriving very, very shortly. And uh, yeah, I've got seven days off work now. So I've ordered the wheel. I've ordered a new Pirelli Avon City tyre, Angel Avon. It's not Avon, sorry my apologies, it's a Pirelli Angel City tyre, 120 70 17 for the rear. So um, yeah, this is just going to be a spare wheel, just in case I get a flat tyre or something. But um, yeah, so I've ordered the tyre, tyre comes today, I ordered it a few days ago, the uh, back wheel, and I thought it was a very good price. I've got to take the, it's going to be a bare back wheel with, with bearings in, so I've just got to take the disc off here and the dry belt system off the other side which is uh, his H6X key so that looks not be so bad just trying to figure out how to raise the bike so I've got to get the tire out I've taken the battery out because that was 120 so the bike's 100 kilos weight uh, but the battery takes 22 kilos so it's only about 80 kilos of weight now so my two sons probably will end up holding one of these either side. Once I've undone this and slackened off the belt drive, take the belt off uh, before I take the back wheel off, then I need something underneath to stabilise the bike while the wheel is out. But I'll sort that out today. But uh, this is part one, just to show you, uh, yeah, damage on the bike. So I banged it back as best I could. There's still a gap there, not as bad as it was. It was quite straight going across there where the damage was. So this is just part one to say that, uh, yeah, it's all getting sorted out. So uh, I'll leave you to it and I'll get back to you soon. Well, my Pirelli Angel City, that's what it is, isn't it? Angel City. Yep, and it's a uh, 120-70-17 for my Super Soco TC Max has arrived. Beautiful tyre, bit like the Michelin City Grip. Very new and updated tyres. Um, this is going to be for the back on that new rim. When they get the new rim in a couple of days, then we'll bang it all on the bike and I'll show you the procedure on that. Uh, and then we'll tune the bike with the, with the gates tuning the actual belt to make sure it's tight enough the right decibel and then I'll be done well I'm on my way to Green Mopeds in Sutton it's uh, 8.30 in the morning I'm tired just sent my missus to work um, yeah so I got about an hour's drive just to get over to Croydon side to pick up my wheel it's finally arrived which is great oh tired Working until late last night then, up early this morning, first thing. Yeah, uh, Green Moped is a brilliant place, I've never been, but they are the largest stockists in the UK of electric motorcycles, they're all different brands, anything up to £7,000, whether it's a motorcycle or a scooter, uh, they're just an amazing setup. We've got a um, main branch in London, just outside, I think it's Twickenham, uh, but they've opened a second branch in Sutton, uh, near Croydon, so that's where I'm off to now. So yeah, see you soon, there. Well, arrived at Green Moped, just waiting for them to open. Um, it's supposed to be the only time now. Um, as you can see, 
great place, fantastic. Anything you want for you. If you want to buy a bike, especially electric, that's all they do. And you probably can't see, but inside there's uh, all the NIUs and Super Socos in there. So I'm going to take my wheel and go back because I've got other things to do. Speak to you soon. Okay, so you're looking for green mopeds. Oh, well, here we are up at Watling Tyres, so have the tyre fitted to the rim. I'll just have a little walk inside, so you can see. Show you the actual tyre still here. There. It's a fitting area over there. And this is a new rim that I've got. Obviously, we can have a Pirelli Angels ticket on the actual... Sorry, I put my finger over there. Pirelli Angels ticket on the rim. So brilliant, brilliant place to come and have your bike tires if you're in Swan Linear Sick Cup area in Kent. Hello again, been up to Watling Tires, got the tyre fitted to the rim as you can see here. So obviously the disc, I have to take off the old one and the drive pulley system, take off the old one. Uh, so now the bike's up. I haven't got my, my rear padded stand doesn't fit it. So um, I've got to just use axle stands and a piece of wooden reef there. Just on the actual swinging arm. And so now I'm just going to undo this. Under slacken these bolts off either side. So I can get the belt tension down. So I can take the belt off. And then... Uh, then the back wheel can come out. This is a space, there's one space of this side and one space of that side. I'm going to leave the, this actual uh, back brake mechanism on uh, because that can be held, I think. I'll, I'll see how we go anyway. But yeah, that's all I'm going to do now. Okay, how far have I got now? Right, uh, this is undone. I've um, taken the caliper off the actual carrier because this is on a backwards and forwards motion there as you can see I didn't think I'd have enough um, space to get the belt off but the belt is off the main carrier and I've taken all the frontage off there so I can align the belt up afterwards so now it's just really taking the main spindle out remembering you got a, a spacer here and that spacer and the actual brake disc holder there and the, there's one extra space on this side here just by that belt right I'll crack on now we have to lift the bike up to uh, my son help me on on uh, lifting it to put it on the axle stands so I can take the wheel off so I can take them off I've actually got some uh, grease some right, bearing grease for the shaft and everything and we've got some of this stuff as well uh, which is thread lock blue thread lock and that's for when I put these four bolts on the new carrier and there and we'll take this off and put the four bolts on so they, they can't come off so the bolts can't come off basically that's what it's all about so we're getting there yippee right the back wheel is now got thread locked both sides got that on that side and we've got this on this side so it's all ready i can't lower the bike um because my son's not here so i might go get my uh trolley jack out the shed and see if I can put the trolley jack underneath to, so that I can bring it down slowly because I need it a certain height to put the actual um, obviously the, the bolt through and everything all the gubbins and the and the um, spaces either side etc so and I can't or I could lift the wheel up to that I'm gonna think all right see you in a bit Right then, as you can see, I've decided to use the old wheel to lift it up slightly. I can get that last little bit, it's not that far, to get all the gubbins in place, etc. So uh, I should be alright from here, fingers crossed. See you in a bit. Okay, the wheel's on. Oh, it isn't tightened up yet. Just tightened up a little bit so it can still move backwards and forwards because now I've got to do the belt. So the belt has to be taut. I'll give you a bit of a tip if you're ever doing the belt. Is uh, 
when the belt's rotating, I always make sure the belt is on the outer lip, this lip here. See this lip here? So when you've got it all tightened up, it's on that lip there. If not, it's on the inside, it's going to go like it is doing there to the inside, halfway, halfway on, halfway off the belt. So you want it to be this side. So to get it to be that side, you have to have it on the inside of this hub. So this, this outer lip, the belt rotating. When it's tight, it's not going to move from that location. It's just that that's the way it's, you know, it can move left and right. But when it's tight, the belt won't move. So I have it to the outer lip and then it'll be on the outer lip at the back as well. Right, so 90 hertz. I'm going to lock it all up to. So I use my phone. Um, there's a Gates app on your, on your phone. You can get it on the App Store. Um, I'll, I'll let you know in a second what it is. Uh, but then you just put your phone near it and twing the belt. It sends a, sends a vibration, hertz, and you want it to be 90, and then you know your back wheel. This says there's tolerance between 77 and I think it's 94. So eight, I don't know, 85 is probably a good point to be. Not too tight, not too slack. So that's what I'm going to do now. Right. Okay, the Gates Drive app is called Carbon Drive. You can download it from the Play Store. You go into it specifically. You can, as long as you know you've hurt any drive belt mechanism you can do, much like the scooter, it will register three, three frequencies. You can get rid of that one by deleting it. So you can do three frequencies. Uh, like I say, I want to do about 85. So it'll twang it, have this next to it. You can, it's picking up my voice now, but if you have the, your microphone, my microphone's down here um, so I'll put that towards a bit and I'll just twang it and it'll give me a reading, twang it again, give me a reading, twang it and move the, move the belt, drive round and twang it again to give me another reading see so it's trying to think of, yeah, so I'll get rid of that reading yeah, so that's all you do really 85 hertz okay, all done, all checked, all done right, um yeah, spindle was easy enough to put through again. Um, don't forget to put the it's a bit of grease on the uh, these joins, so they're on a, on a bearing anyway. And the wheel's spinning, but the actual these don't. So I put a bit of grease on there because obviously it helps there. Um, 88 hertz was the uh, frequency I used at the end to, for the belt. Um, so she's at 88 hertz now, she's on the outer edge at this end point here, she's at the middle is there, so she'll work her way back again. Uh, but she's got plenty of room on this side anyway, that's you know, that's the width of the carrier, so she's still on the width of the carrier. I might have to angle the back wheel slightly to, to alter that maybe, but other than that everything's done. Hope you liked uh, this video. Oh, I've got to change that front tyre. Uh, if you've got a Super Soccer TC Max, I mean I've got EBC front brake pads in uh, in mine, and it was pouring down rain the other night, and uh, I ended up just using my back brake. Um, back brake with uh, the back brake has it's combined, so we use a little centre pot on the front here as well. So there's two big pistons and one centre pot piston. The two big pistons are for the front brake. And the central little one is when you put the back brake on, the central little one comes on. Ideal for wet conditions because you don't need full brake on the front because these tyres are crap anyway and you'll end up um, squirming and, and locking your front up. So I just use my back brake which is easy to, to apply. It actually stops the motion for the back wheel and it also puts a little bit of front brake on. So just a tip, if it's in wet weather you've got TC Max just use your left handlebar brake it's adequate to stop you and uh, yeah otherwise you'll end up you'll put this one on the front one on and it's gonna lock the front wheel up so my next job now is to uh, order uh, 9080 either probably city that's probably angel city or uh, a michelin uh, pilot sport for the front these tyres are absolutely terrible. They come with the all terrain tyres and they've got really crap in the wet. So, yep, so now I've got my nice sticky rear Pirelli on. I'm going to have to do the front one. About 80 quid. All done.
So if I take the wheel off, because I've done the back now, I can put the axle stand underneath the front there. Uh, this is the front wheel off, just take the wheel up. Uh, 60 quid for the tyre and 20 quid for fitting. Fitting bounds in the lot. So yeah, I'll do that next before winter comes. Okay, I hope you like the video. Please like, subscribe and enjoy our journey. I try my best to, uh, to bring you everything I know about bikes especially uh, some maintenance and repair work and on the full Zontis range the 350cc is out now and I'm getting some English videos out now for the 350 Zontis I'll be putting them up um, yeah. yeah please like subscribe thank you for watching tatty bye for now